always important to dry yourself using a cool blow dryer setting and moisturizer with plenty of lotion. So it's important. Always dry your, the folds of your body to avoid it and never get too hot. Uh, Karen, do you want to say something? Yeah, again, um, drying all the folds can be very difficult with FOP because the different uh, mobility challenges that you face are there are a lot more folds than the average person because an arm may be bent and you may have a very tight place in your elbow or in your armpit and it can be difficult to dry yourself. Um, these are just some examples I wanted to show you of um, different tools and stands that you can buy to hold a blow dryer in place in case you can't lift your arm to hold it up. And I've also found some very creative pictures of people who have built something um, so that they didn't have to purchase one of these items, but they built something to hold their blow dryer in place so that they can either turn their body to get just the right area, um, some air that they're needing to try to dry. Um, and I think on the next slide, Patricia, there's even a picture of a fan. Go ahead and also use a fan if you need to. Yeah, it's, and it's always important to keep yourself dry. So in areas that uh, you can't reach, you can use the mental powder, talcum powder, horn stack perch powder that is less expensive and use the tools to reach into folds. So never forget, forget about hot environments. Yeah, so here's a few examples of what Dr. Delia is talking about. So the menthol powders, um, that is like a gold bond um, type powder here in the United States as a brand name. Um, this particular one in the picture is without talc because I know there have been a lot of questions about if talcum powder is safe or not. And I, I think that was um, possibly with a particular brand of product. Um, but cornstarch is a very inexpensive alternative that you can actually find at a grocery store. Um, you use that in baking a lot. So that would be another type of powder. But how do you get these things into really tight folds that you have? So this is another place where I'm happy to talk with you and come up with some ideas. And I'm sure some of you might want to post some of the ideas that you have in the chat. But um, I know a lot of people use a back scratcher. And that's what this picture is here, the very first one after the cornstarch. You could wrap a washcloth around the end of a back scratcher, not the part that's curved that you scratch with, but around the handle. And you could put it in place with either some tape or rubber band. And then you could put the powder on that soft microfiber cloth and kind of shove it into the area that has a really tight fold to get some powder in there. Um, you could also use, this is a picture of some um, hemostat scissors or some um, scissoring hemostats that surgeons use when they need to clamp and hold something while they're performing a surgery. But you could use these to clamp and hold um, a cloth with powder on it or this product here that you see, the um, little, it looks like a piece of gauze, but that's another product that Sharon Cantani sent to us that is a tonic cloth um, that she uses that not only um, without powder can help clean and keep areas dry, but if you added powder, that would be another way to get that into your armpit. Or think outside of the box. We all might have a really soft paintbrush laying around the house, or you could easily find a very inexpensive one at any kind of um, dollar store or craft store or even grocery stores sometimes have a little craft section and if you have really soft bristles you could tape that to a long stick or to some kind of handle that you needed and then you could apply the cornstarch or some kind of menthol powder to this little paint bristle and get it into really tight folds. So there's lots of ways to still perform these things and if you need help again I'm, I'm happy to um, help you come up with some ideas. And for people, if there is someone from Brazil that is watching this, the cornstarch is maizena, or it's um, amido de milho that you can find in Brazil and in Latin America with another brand. But it's very easy and we use to cook. 